Greetings and welcome to Parametric Design Fundamentals, an overview of the underlying concepts, tools, and mechanisms for creating performance-based parametric models. My name is Ronnie Parsons. I'm a co-founder and director of education here at ModeLab. My background is in architectural design, and I have over 15 years experience working in the creative industries. My particular area of expertise surrounds generative design modeling and next-gen manufacturing. Curriculum for this course will guide you through the fundamentals of parametric design as it applies to creatives working in the building industry. Specifically, this course will introduce parametric concepts and methods for creatively and effectively using data as a meaningful property in your daily workflow. At the end of this course, we'll wrap up by taking a quick look at the available tools and resources to get you up and running with parametric design today. So without further ado, let's get started. So if you're watching this video, you're more than likely wanting this very simple question answered. And if you have dug around a little online, you have probably noticed that stumbling upon a consistent definition for the term parametric design is actually not an easy feat. A quick Google search for the term parametric design yields an interesting array of images. You might note that there are in this bank of references recurring visual themes present. The appearance of pattern, complex form, various assemblies consisting of many small parts. You might also notice the tiling and tessellations that are often associated with the term parametric design. You can see here the natural patterns of soap bubbles, branching structures, even the engineered forms of towers and small installations. And if we modify our search slightly to include the term architecture, you might notice that a similar set of visual cues carry over. But as you dig a little deeper, you might find that the term parametric is quite often used interchangeably with a number of other terms. Take for instance the term algorithmic design, or the use of step-by-step -step procedures or algorithms as a primary design methodology. Computational design, which pertains to developing and or applying computational approaches to problems that actually originate in design. Scripting, or to create scripts or programs, either textually or visually, used to execute a series of tasks or routines. And lastly, associative design, which is to just use relationships or associations as a primary driver in your design process. So with all of these terms out there that are used interchangeably to define or relate to parametric or parametric design, where do we actually start in our attempt to give meaning to this term? What is parametric design?